hello and welcome everyone so in this video we're going to be moving to our next ability that is going to be dark tether and this is used to slow down the enemy character once he is targeted so go to our gas abilities folder and we're going to create a new folder for this and we're going to name this dark tether um, if i can get the spelling right okay and I am going to start by creating a new class of the type gameplayability. And I'll be using my this gas gameplayability and call this GA dot tether. Okay. So now this is, is going to be a targeting based ability. By targeting, I mean a player is going to confirm targeting and then we are going to do stuff to change the speed of the character. Okay. So from the event activate ability, I'm going to say wait target data. Okay, and confirmation time is going to be instance, instant. And I am going to select my gas target actor for this. For the trace range, I'm going to just override this to 2000. And I don't need radical plus for this because this is an instant type of targeting. I don't need any visuals to visualize when I'm targeting and if i get valid data i'm going to say get hit result from target data now if you remember we populated this inside of our c++ class gas target actor it's for simple line trace so i'm going to do is just break hit results okay and i am going to do a select on this oops, location so i'm going to say select vector so if it is a blocking here, this is going to be this location. And if it is not, it's going to be the trace end. Okay. And I am going to say at this location, I want to do is Sapphire overlap actors. And this is going to be on valid data. Okay. And the object types that I'm going to do is just scan for pawns. So I'm going to select this and select pawn. And for the actor to ignore, what I'm going to do is say make array. And I'm going to say get owning actor from actor info. And we'll be ignoring ourselves from this scan. And for out results, what I'm going to do is choose for each loop. And on this, I'm going to say get ability system component. And if it is valid, What I want to do is apply uh, gameplay effect to self. Now you can use gameplay effect to target to cater for that base attack damage, but in this case, we are not damaging the enemy, rather we are just slowing his speed down. So I just want to say apply gameplay effect to self. Okay, we're going to populate this. And just to debug this, I'm going to use a print string to say effect applied. okay and once this is completed i want to just end my ability okay and also if i cancel this targeting what i want to do is end ability we can't be canceling this because this is an instant targeting but just to be on the safe side we're going to end the ability if it is cancelled for any reason and also if this is not valid we are not going to do anything because this is going to handle that okay and now we are going to actually create the gameplay effects class for this. And going to our content browser, I'm going to create a new blueprint class of the type gameplay effect. It's going to be this one. And we call this and dark tether slow speed. Okay. Save this, close this, and open it up again. Okay, so now this is going to be like a duration-based gameplay effect. It's going to slow down the player for like seven seconds, and then we're going to just remove this effect, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go down to our duration policy and change this to as duration, okay? And now we should see this period on the 
and the duration for which this should execute so i'm going to just change this to seven okay rather this should be one and we have to set this duration magnitude to say seven so it stays there for seven seconds and it will be executing every one second okay this is the tick frequency and this is the overall uh, duration of the effect okay so i'm going to add a modifier for this and this is going to be my speed multiplier and i'm going to instead of adding it i'm just going to overwrite this and i'm going to use a value of 0 0.3 so the speed is divided by 33 the base speed is divided by 3 and we're going to apply this effect and for this what i also want is gameplay effect as a tag because it might not work without this so i'm going to say character dot ability dot dark tether dot slow effect okay and i will compile and save this and once this effect has executed what i want to do is i want to apply another tag that's going to reset my this uh, speed multiplier back to one so for that what i want to do is create a new gameplay effect class of the type gameplay effect this one and call this ge uh, remove dark tether okay open this up save this and close this again okay so this is going to be an instant effect what i want to do is just add a modifier for my speed multiplier and instead of add i want to override this and change this back to one okay and now i'm going to use this effect inside of this effect the slow speed effect so once this effect has done executioning itself this is going to execute this remove dark method and reset our speed multiplier back to one so over here what you should see you have this routine expiration effect classes i'm going to open this up and add our remove dark tether ge remove dark tether okay and now i'm going to use this slow speed dark tether inside of this uh, gameplay ability and for this apply gameplay effect to self after this for loop what i want to do is select that dark tether slow speed okay so our ability is done what i want to do is now actually change the speed of our player for this what i want to do is on begin play first what i want to do is store the speed the existing speed of our player into a variable and on speed change what i want to do is multiply that attribute with my base speed okay to do that what i'm going to do is just create a custom event over here call this store base um, base speed and this is going to be getting my character movement and I'm going to say get max walk speed this one and I'm going to promote this to a variable and this is going to be my max walk speed and rather than this base speed okay and let's just comment this out and say store base speed okay and this is our user interface okay and i'm going to call this on my begin play this one okay and now i want to add an event for my on speed change so what i want to do is move over here and then search for on speed multiply change so once this is triggered what i want to do is get my base speed and get my character movement and say set max walk speed okay so the multiply is going to multiply with my base speed and this is going to be my new max walk speed okay and i'm going to comment this speed change event okay so now let's just test it out 
and if i go to my ops i have to grant this ability to my player so i'm going to just search for this initial abilities and if you don't see this just remember to click on this eye icon and select the show inherited variables okay so for the initial abilities i'm going to add my dark catcher to this and to activate this ability what i'm going to do is add an input for this and this is going to be on my secondary action and this is set to my right click okay so i'm going to drag it off from here and say try activate ability by class and for the ability what i'm going to do is select this dark tether okay so when i press my right mouse button and while targeting an enemy is going to slow it down i forgot to set my sphere radius to something big i'm going to change this to 500 so let's test it out and hopefully it will work this time so if i apply this effect and then just try to move this and after several seconds he's moving back to his normal speed let's test it again so this character is moving slowly for both the clients and as soon as he has run out of his duration he is going to resume his normal speed okay okay so you notice that when i apply my effect there's a little bit of lag or stutter between the client okay and it is removed as soon as the effect is removed so this is happening because there's a difference between the client and the server the speed between the client and the server is not synced so just to verify that indeed this is the problem what i want to do is go to the gas player character select class default and down here um, sorry on the character movement down here you should see something ignore client movement error check and something check and correction okay so if you check this what will happen is that the client will move at a faster rate but the other client won't see him move at the same rate okay so if i apply this effect now this client is moving fast in its own window but the client too sees it as moving slowly and the locations are not accurate okay so this is indeed a, play, a problem of mismatch between the client and the server so we're going to remove this and what we're going to do is just create a new event custom event and call this set speed on client okay and i am going to change my replicates to run on when client and i'm going to add an input and this is going to be speed multiplier okay and this is going to type float okay and what i'm going to do is just duplicate all of this over here and plug this in over here and i also need this structure movement like so <clears throat> and what i want to do is also call this on this event so what i do is drag out from here and say set speed on client and this is going to be this speed multiplier let's drag this out and comment this out as set speed on client okay now if you should test it out this is going to work properly this should work properly and when i apply this effect on this character and i move okay we have removed that structure and the location update is perfect and once the effect is removed he can move freely and the location updates are fine if i stand on this question mark if i see this okay so this is the way to fix this problem of stutter so this is our second ability this is done uh, in the next ability what we're going to do is just spawn the part projectiles the meteor from the sky called torn space i think and we're going to look at that ability in the next video so this is it for this video thank you very much